Hey everybody, certainly glad you could join me today. In this video, we're going to look at how to put rips and tears in clothing items. Before I get started, a huge thank you to everyone for hitting subscribe and hitting that notification icon, that always helps me out. And an even bigger thank you to all of my patrons and members. Your names will be running across the bottom of the screen as we speak. If you are interested in supporting the channel, feel free to visit the Patreon in the description below, or you can join the channel by hitting the join button next to the subscribe button. So let's jump into this then. As you can see, I've got a character loaded into the scene with an outfit on. And what I want to do is put a tear in the front of this outfit. So what we're going to do is we're going to locate the clothing item that we want to edit in the scene tab. So there we go. I've got it selected there and we're going to move in a little bit closer. We don't actually need to do it, but it means that we'll be able to see the finished results a little bit easier. So while we're in the surfaces tab, we can expand that down and in the case of this particular clothing item we've got different surfaces for each part of the clothing this is not always going to be the case but this technique will work it just means that you're going to have to be a little bit more specific about what you want to do so we're going to expand that and then in the base section of that panel you can see in our base color tab we've got an image map selected there so we're going to select that and we're going to hit browse and we can see we've got various different clothing items here and we're just going to select one of the ones that's black and white and we're going to drag that into Adobe Photoshop. Now that we're in Adobe Photoshop you can see that we've got this map here but it's not completely black and white so what we need to do is we actually need to make adjustments to the file that we've got. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to select and we're going to select color range and then we're going to select our gray, light gray in the image and then we're going to adjust our fuzziness to 200 so that all we're getting is the gray pixels and the black ones being left alone. So we're going to hit OK. Now we're going to unlock our layer so that we can actually edit it and we're simply going to delete those pixels. Now what you'll notice is that the black itself has also gone kind of transparent so we're going to adjust that as well. What we're going to do is hit the control key while we click on the layer thumbnail and now it's selected any pixels that have color in them. So what we can do is we can now paste a color over the top of that and it will work just fine. So what we're going to do we're going to select completely black and we've filled that with completely black now. So we're going to clear our selection. What we now need to do is create another layer and we're going to create that underneath the layer that we just made. We're going to select our paint bucket tool again and we're going to select solid white and we're going to fill that. So now what we have is what we call an opacity mask where white means completely opaque and black means completely transparent. So now we're going to create another new layer over the top of both of those and we're going to select our brush tool and we're going to select complete black again as our color. Now, if you're lucky enough to have searched the internet and found different kind of brush types, you've got a selection to choose from. You can probably find rips and tears in amongst the free stuff that you can find on the internet. I haven't got one of those at the moment, so I've just got a, like a splash pattern selected. I've yanked up my opacity and my flow to 100% making sure that I've got black selected and that I'm on the layer that we've created. I'm now just going to hit that a few times until we've got a nice pattern that looks something like that. And then I'm going to save this out as a JPEG in the same folder that we just uh, opened. Make sure that you don't save this over the top of the files that you're editing otherwise you're going to completely knacker your product so make sure you save it as something else give it a new file name so do not hit save make sure you hit save as and then give it a new file name and then go back into dash studio so what we're going to do is we're going to select our file path there so that we know where to go and we're going to hit cancel and then in the surfaces tab again for the clothing item in question we're going to go to the geometry tab where it says cut out opacity, we're going to click on the little arrow beside the slider and we're going to hit browse. And then if you're not already in that folder, you can paste your file path in the top here and it'll take you to it. And then just select the file that you've created. And as you can see now, we have a tear or a hole in that clothing item. 
Thanks very much for watching this, guys. I hope you found it useful. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care of yourselves, guys. Bye-bye.